I think, uh, yes, George. I mean, if we've been looking at the antibody um, testing figures, um, then the estimates actually have been higher than the tests have been showing for some time. And we discussed that probably around 4,000 people um, untested uh, are, are catching the virus every day. But of course, a larger number of test positive proven cases um, indicates that the, the virus is spreading more widely within society and of course is of concern. Um, not very long ago, um, we were um, down uh, well below 1,000 cases a day. It was alarming to people when 1,000 cases was again breached. And as you say, it's gone up to close to 3,000 today uh, and from 2,000 yesterday. So it's a, it's a rapid increase. I think there are a number of reasons for it. It's clear that um, restrictions um, couldn't be maintained in an absolute lockdown. Um, and as the economy has been opened, as people are encouraged increasingly to go back to work, as the furlough scheme is being wound down, as we're being encouraged to do our bit for the country and go out and eat and be subsidised to do so, um, as there have been an increasing number of parties, uh, as the increasing number of social interactions, as sporting facilities start to come back online, and of course, as um, children go back to school, then we start to see social conditions which are much more conducive uh, to the spread of the virus and uh, as we've remarked before the vast majority of the population have not yet had it uh, and therefore there is ground for it to spread.